Welcome to this short instruction video on how to use the CO2 calculator for either force carbing or fermenting under pressure. I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. You can either use this for force carbing or for pressurized fermentation to get the desired amount of CO2 volumes in your beer. So let's start by choosing if you want to work in Celsius or Fahrenheit. If you want to have our recommended pressure in PSI or in bar, this you can change later on. Go with PSI to start with. Here we can either choose a beer style, we can look at the suggestions, or we can add our amount manually or like both. So if we choose, for example, an American IPA, you can see that it changes the suggested volumes of CO2 to 2.4, but you can go and change it manually. Also, you will have a suggested span here for every beer style. And if, if there's a beer style you're missing here, please suggest one. You can send me a, an email or use the contact form down below. So I have chosen my beer style and I went with 2.4 as suggested. And let's say I'm force carving a beer. I have a keg in my keyser or keg grader and I have, let's say, 8C in there. And I want 2.4 volumes of CO2. Then I would have to set my regulator to 14 PSI or 1 bar. If I have very cold in my fridge, let's say 4C, and I still want 2.4 volumes, that would mean that I would set my regulator to 0.7 bar or 10.11 PSI. Okay, I'm fermenting under pressure. Let's stick with the IPA for now. Let's say I'm fermenting at 20C, still want 2.4 volumes of CO2. I will set my spanning valve to 26 PSI or 1.8 bar. The temperature you want to set here is the ending temperature of fermentation. We're not talking cold crashing now, we're talking end of fermentation. So if I'm using like use of 5, I might start at 22, but at the end of fermentation, when the Krausen is dropping, I most likely bump up my temperature a bit, maybe like 3 degrees. Most often I ramp it up, but my end of fermentation will most likely be like at least 25C. So I will set this to the end of fermentation, 25C. And that means that I would set my spanning valve to 2.1 bar or 31 PSI. So this is how I use this calculator for force carving or pressurized fermentation. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. If you found this helpful, please share this video or calculator. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.